Watson, I wrote this book to explain the principles and concepts of drawing portraits. Regardless of what your experience or skill level, this book is a great resource and a reference guide. This video was produced to put a voice and a face to this book. Other chapters will follow. When I decided to pursue my education in art, the process included an interview with the art department chair along with bringing in samples of my drawing. During the interview, she said my artwork would improve 100%. I was humbled. That first drawing I did in school was 100% better than anything else I had done ever. I learned at that particular point, drawing portraits was not just an art, it was a science. The science is to understand cause and effect, to learn and to know what specific action you will produce to get that desired result. The concept of knowledge, skill, and attitude are integrated in practice is the foundation for mastery. The knowledge is the science. The application of the science is how you improve your skill, the passion, desire, and your inspiration. That's your talent. That's your talent. Right now, I want to give you specific things in terms of principles of drawing, and we go on. In this drawing here, value. Value is no more than the shades of gray. You, and we know how to approve, excuse me, we know how to create sh shades of gray. If you press on your pencil, it gets darker. If you release the pressure, it gets lighter. So, on a one-dimensional surface, a two-dimensional surface, and in order to get three-dimensional look, when you're drawing, you create value. Value is no more than shades of gray. How do you achieve value? By applying the releasing pressure of your pencil. After that, I will show you how to change pencil, but for the sake of this conversation, it's no more than applying the releasing pressure of your pencil. Everything has value. Everything has shades of gray as it relates to drawing. Not only the, the forehead, the whites of the eyes, and also the teeth. The next principle, is contrast. Contrast gives you depth. Contrast is no more than the difference between light and dark. This is dark, this is light. This gives you the illusion as if this is in front and this is behind. As you look here on your face, contrast, the bottom of the lip here and the chin. The edge, light, dark. Contrast gives you depth. Value gives you roundness. Contrast gives you depth. Those are two principles so far to understand how you look at the science of this, uh, look at this drawing. The other thing is lines. There are no lines in a drawing. There are planes. What I have done with my illustration, the cover of my book, I was able to point out what you see here. I'm looking for this in order to draw this. What you will learn with information in my book, you will look for this in order to draw this. So when I'm drawing, laying things out, I am actually looking for the planes on the face where it looks like lines and I convert those planes to a smooth edge. So this, again, is what I'm looking for and this is what I actually produce. Make sense? Good deal. So as we go forward with this whole thing in terms of the um, concepts, the principles of drawing, value, is the amount of light and dark and the color tone. Contrast gives you depth. It's the difference between dark and light. There are no such thing as a line. Lines only indi indicate the different planes in the face. Our next chapter, our next video, will actually go in more depth about how do you create value, as we see here, how do you create contrast, and what to look for in order to draw what you see. RonWatsonsDrawings.com. Follow me on Facebook, also on Instagram. Hope to see you soon with the next video. Take care.